Okay, I want to welcome everybody. Welcome to another video. We're here. I'm here again. I'm back with another art video for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to be doing some um, pictures, basically, uh, more designs for some of my characters for this new um, cartoon I've got coming up. I've got one specific new cartoon to add to the list. Um, I mentioned, I mentioned it in my last video, so if you check the last video out and see what that is, you'll know then, okay. Um, first up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few, let's have some fun, let's try and do some scribble sketches. Um, again, like you know, like I do, I do these scribble type sketches and see what I can find in terms of um, uh, positioning, posing using like scribble like silhouettes and then like turning them into actual figures like by like kind of trying to find a stick figure in a pose within that or either just either just going straight in and drawing on top or by doing a stick figure sometimes I just go straight in and do a stick figure before rather than doing a scribble sketch like this or any silhouettes or anything but it's a, it's a method that works I find it's a good method um, sometimes um, and I'm going to do the main character and I've also got to do um, the baddie characters as well and um, there's only going to be one really I'm going to make one soldier type character and it's going to be like uh, well I mean I'm going to try and make them look more or less the same to make it simple for this okay so let's have a try now first of all we're going to do this female character the main character okay um, get a few different poses for her Okay, so let's go a few uh, scribblets <laughs> or whatever you want to call them. So we're doing like anything there, anything within that range there. Okay, uh, do another one over here. I'm not going to bother moving that line or anything. I like to use these big, like broad brushes with like various. Um, Textures to it, you know, to them. I'm going to move this, move this one over. I'm going to do another one. So I could do four. I think I might just go for three. I'm just do all these random marks, like you know, and I'm like doing it in a certain way, as I say, you know, like uh, random splodges and strokes. Okay, just and like you see how I've taken the brush off of the. Um, off the uh, canvas many times there as, as I go I don't, don't keep it held down the whole time sometimes I'll go with like varied opacity of the brush meaning that when you go I'll just give you an example here if I if I go here and I go on another layer just quickly just to show you if I if I hold the brush down and move like that well you can see it's semi transparent anyway because I've got the opacity of the layer turned to a certain level and I'll have it like slightly opa uh, less opaque like it more transparent but the thing is um, the thing I'm trying to say is uh, you can also adjust the opacity of the brush so if I've got it full opacity right now meaning it's not transparent at all then when I when I um, do the strokes you can see it's all one you know thing more or less okay, one level of transparency if I take the brush off the canvas, okay, the pen, and then put the pen back down and draw again. On top of that, it doesn't make any difference. Whereas if I had this lower, if you can see up here at the top, we've got the two bars here. We've got this uh, opacity bar and the size bar. This is in Critter, by the way. Okay, uh, you'll find this in many softwares. But um, you see how now it's like lighter. When I take the pen off the screen now and put the pen back down, it goes on top of that. I take the pen off again and go on, on down again. And then keep going. You see, it gets darker and darker and darker. If I start that with a very low. Let me turn up that level of the opacity for the of the actual layer to show you what I mean. I've got it really low here. I just keep on taking the pen off and then putting the pen down. And you can see how you get these levels of um, transparency. You're able to shade basically. And uh, when would this be useful? Well, I'll give you an example of when this would be useful. It would be useful if, okay, um, I had, let's say, a, a character here. Let's say I wanted to have a character here. 
I'll show you, okay, like a character's, you know, a sentence is going to be a body or something, you see. And then I was going to go on top of that and then decide where the arm was going to be. Let me do that again, this wasn't the best example. Let me just do a light one, okay. Um, ah. Okay, so I'm going to go here. We'll do like the body here, you can just about see that, okay. Let's do a shape. And then I want to decide, okay, I want the face to be here. You can see that's darker, you see, and I can put marks on top. And you see things like that. And you can see this could be uh, her jacket or something, you know. And I can work things on this, it gives me different layers, you know. Or it could be when you're just shading something in. So I could be doing like something like this, and I might decide to go for like more detail and like put the eyes in there, or a bit of shadow under the nose, or I don't know, what a bit of shading under here, or a beard here. It depends on what I might want to use it for like a drawing thing, or I may want to use it for like shading. I might do gradual shading and stuff, see, to show those shapes, you see, go underneath there, the neck here, the shadow, you see, and you can see how we're getting that kind of, and then plus you can work, plus when you switch it over to eraser mode, when you click on that, the opacity levels work for that as well, so I can have a gradual erasing as well, but just do this, see, and I could just do that, and you can adjust the size obviously, Add like a little uh, tint here, a little uh, shine or something on the nose here. Certain things, you know. This is a, a lip now. This has become a lip all of a sudden. <laughs> Eye, eyelids and stuff. See, bit of on the neck there. Maybe you see some strange guy with a beard. You could like go on top of that again, as I say, and just like paint on top of that. You got this big. <laughs> so you can do some like painting, you know, giving this guy a big, big beard now. Overall, he's an older guy. Put a bit of hair forward, maybe. See, and you can have some good fun like painting. You know, I could do this. I could do that. Make it like work different levels of shading. Can you see that? I'm working that in there, and um, it's all working good. Give a little glow there, maybe on the outside. Uh, I don't know, like a little shine maybe on there. You could do a little shine on different shines, different areas if you wanted to do it that way. You see, <laughs> should be there, I guess, this one. But you get the idea. You do like thinner streaks and stuff for the for the hair or something, or just like give it different levels of opacity just to work that differently. See. And you can make that, and then go back to shading again. You know, and, uh, just go into like you know, working the light and the dark because the light shows the dark and the dark shows the light. Don't forget. And then what I can do is I can just go with different colours and stuff. You know, so you can see how that actually um, works. All right, basically. Um, but yeah, usually when I'm doing this kind of thing, these epic, <laughs> epic uh, things, I, I usually keep these scribbles at one layer and just Im imagine the levels. But it depends what level of detail you want to go with. So I'll have it one layer le level of opacity and then I'll just have a light kind of opacity for the layer. And I'll turn it slightly down before I, before I go over to my normal pen on another layer with a thin uh, again a uh, full opacity pen and then I'll just start drawing stick figures in and working out where that goes or I'll just start drawing right there and then so let's have a look because and, and I find this a good way of doing things this as you can see I've got this guide here as I say this guide oh not this sorry not this the, this uh, ugh, hold on this um, these guides you see these guidelines and this vertical one obviously but I, I made these in them myself because I thought this is a good little guideline to show the height of a character no, um, they're contained within a folder and you get the top line here which is here, uh, excuse me the top line 
which is here which would represent where I'm going to make this a bit darker sorry would represent where the headline would go and this is where the feet line would be or you know but you've got like a different levels too so depending on which angle the characters are standing like left and feet being left and right of each other or front and back of each other so there's three lines but there's a middle main line and uh, the middle line here as well this line is for the waist level so the legs are half the half the height I should say of, of the body you got the top half and then from the waist down is the legs and you just have to remember where the actual um, that is remember where exactly the hips are you know depending on where the knees are so we're using these scribble sketches as guides so I've got to imagine where I'm seeing hips I can see hips there and I can see a head here but that means where are the shoulders going to be um, I can see a shoulder here meaning that arms there I'm imagining, I'm saying, like in my mind, you know, I'm not deciding what the legs are going to be like yet. Um, the shoulder's going to be about here, meaning that's going to be tucked down there. The neck and the chin, the the face is going to be about there. Well, meaning the other, um, here, the other shoulder is going to be further away from us. Um, I've not decided exactly yet where the other arm is going to be. <laughs> Uh, it seems like she's holding something here further here but we don't have to I can see a line like here but mm, are we going to go for that or am we going to have the hand on the other side of the body like that um, I could have the hand on the other body like that something like that I, I might go with that actually I was thinking to like have the hand here holding the arm for some reason um, or doesn't make much sense, but we could have the hand over here, just holding that arm like that. Don't make much sense, though, right? Um, so I think we have the hand like somewhere behind the body, like there, to about that point. Uh, okay, now let's just work this out. So it's all kind of scrunched up. The this is here. I think we need to alter that. See, I always get into that altering things too much sometimes the spine is going to be down here <coughs> excuse me <coughs> uh, what the hell is that That's, that should be a hand right um, it, is it a hip I think it's probably a hip actually Got these wide hips okay oh no that was I think it was supposed to be a hand was going to be uh, we have a hand about there this leg's going to be more or less, it can't be too bent. This one, this is more like the straight one. So, I think we'll have it like something like that. The knee's going to be somewhere about here, a foot like that. See, that's why we've got these three lines at the bottom for the feet. This one's a bit lower, as I say. Um, that's about there, yeah, you see, and then, or oh, it should be about there. Actually, it's a bit way too wide, I think that's about there and then it goes back to about on that other line there and that will be there I think this one should be about here actually okay so we're trying to get it as accurate as possible now this will be like that you have these armpits and then these boobs <laughs> basically the back of the body there it's kind of scrunched up so this is the this is the issue so you're going to have see sometimes you look at things and things just don't look right you know but um, you're able to work them in a certain way even if they don't work too well in the beginning so what you might do is when you see things like this you might want to just get rid of that and just try to do like a rough sketch fur to see what you can see I'm, I've still got this kept okay I'm going to use this in a moment let me just show you something sometimes I'll do this like a rough like silly um not silly sketch <laughs> uh, see how I'm doing this here and it like everything um kind of flows much better just doing a rough one like that you see and it just 
it just tells the story of that and then if I was to go on top of that let's see um, let's see we'll turn that off for a moment and we'll work on top of that can I actually make that into something you see here yeah, it's like I've, I've kind of like fixed the proportions of that so you're trying to work out this thing is what you're trying to do see this is that see the body's there yeah, you see like kind of fixed itself there see so it's like and then this legs about here see uh, sorry wrong leg <laughs> kind of worked though anyway <laughs> so this legs about here it should be a little bit more uh, as I say you got to be very loose with your lines it's that, it's that same old thing you just have to be loose with your lines sometimes so that's there you got to go back up here back side there okay um and then this will be about there right and then this foot will be about there we'll just have it like it's hard to draw feet <laughs> oh gosh I'll get it <laughs> something like that and I think you know looking at that looks kind of okay you know, ish you know to be honest so I'll keep this as well in case I want to use that this might be the actual one you know um, I'm going to get used to doing the hands a certain way as well so these rough like designs at first um, yeah but this is uh, I mean this is not actually for an actual show so it's okay I'm just doing a quick test one and in a way it means I'm wasting time <laughs> in a way but um, you know let's just get rid of that quickly see that was from a loose uh, a loose sketch which we had see not this one huh uh, this one right and we made this from that you see and it still don't look perfect to be honest with the hip and that but it's like it's okay but if I get rid of this one now um, see a line down the middle maybe see to show where the middle is uh, a bit wider there see um Shake that boob a bit. Shake it up, baby. Uh -huh. You know, and um. Okay, so that's that. Um, you know, it, it works, sort of thing, but it's like it's not perfect. And I mean, to be honest with you, we've got another problem as well. It's absolutely wrong because if you look at this. Uh, so hold on. If you do look at this, okay. Why is that not showing up as well? Well, here it is showing up now. Okay, <laughs> but the problem being the height of the of the creature. But no, the thing is, it's actually I can resize it anyway. It's okay because we were just using that as a reference, you know. And as I adjust things here a little bit more and just maybe change the position a little bit, you can see how things actually can work. So I think I'm just going to keep that one as a rough one. Right, keep this one. I'm not going to have that first one I had, which was, which was this one. You can see I kind of scrunched up in there. Yeah. So, how do we get this? We got it from like doing a loose drawing, right? So, let's try and do another one like a loose drawing then. <laughs> if that's the secret key to this whole thing, I'm still trying to find the secret keys, you know. First of all, let me just fix that um, waist up a little bit there. I think it. No, I know it's not perfect either the leg, but you know, um, meaning like if I was to put this leg out a bit like that, maybe you see, in terms of positioning, you know, it kind of fixes it a bit. I right, see that I do that, see, but you know, I keep on doing it, and it's like, it's like I'm messing it up. So let's just go back to how it was. I think for now. Hold on. Oh, 
<laughs> okay, so let's go on to the next one now. These are test ones anyway. I'm going to show you something else in a moment as well because um, I, I kind of lost the plot. I'm going to show you stick figure methods as well. I have to practice with those as well. I have to because I'll be using them a lot anyway. This one I'm, I'm trying to see. So uh, what can I see here? Again, I can see a hand here. I can see a hand here. Meaning the shoulders here. Mm, meaning... I don't want to call it the line of action, although it is. Meaning the body's back here. I could do like a shape of a body like that even. Put it like that. This would be about there. This is up here. The elbow's up here. And uh, it looks like she's holding something. I'm not too sure. Uh, maybe this one's just holding a handbag or something. If she's a woman, let's just say that. Okay, so two nice breasts there very nice <laughs> if I do say so myself um, this is going to go up there the rib cage right okay this is the it there so I guess what we're seeing here is a oh well but basically from the lines why we're seeing it to about there and there the butt goes about there and then that goes down there and this goes there, you see, well, to the other side. But this is a bit lower down, this would be. And we're seeing it go in, obviously. Boop about there. You know, um, centre of the middle bit will be about there, the centre of the body. I just drew the spine in there, how that would be. Um, the arms about here as I say this arm is like basically just we're just saying that this is like right back there the elbow is um, there and the this is like that basically just a handbag but we're just doing a quick one um, the back of the leg actually is behind this I feel this is here this leg's about, I have to draw it in, I'm going to have to the butt would be there, this is there and then that's there I'm just going to raise that butt off <laughs> and this, these lines which are covering this leg you need to erase those, see I'm just keeping a bit of a line there so you can see the direction and this is behind that leg, you see I know, you know, you might be saying, well, there's not much of a good enough nice curve going on. But you, you can work that out, you know, you can work it as you go and make and resize things, you know. And I'm just doing that there. Okay. You know, um... Do some hairstyle, just simple here, just so I know. You know just get something in, you know. Get something in, you know. <laughs> and then these go from much further down there. So, so she's looking like she's holding a bar or something like uh, on a bus or something like that. Maybe she's on the bus. I don't know, something like that. The back of the back would be about there. In actuality, about like that, and then you know, something like that. Uh, really we'd have like not a lot of detail there it's all like you know not such strong rib cage like that obviously with the boobs um, you know here a belly button or whatever you know whatever put this handbag there just so, so we can see the, the arms about there the fingers and everything will be about there um, trying to make that as dainty as possible the elbow's right back behind there and that's basically that right you know um, it's on its own layer so we can resize it which is good so let's just resize that again to a certain I'll, I'll leave this about up up there because that's what we're doing that's what we're doing you know the waist about there <laughs> there and you can see I stretched it a bit horizontally as well take it down a bit um, hold on uh, this one 
and um, just do some feet very carefully and now I can't follow any any guides here it's just literally off my own back off my own back sorry you know um, God, it's so hard to draw feet I must say um, so this is basically that Ah, it's hard. I'm trying to work it out, the shape, you know. Uh, that's okay, I've kind of got it. I'm getting better at drawing feet, I'll say that. I mean, that's basically it. I get carried away sometimes, you know, and it's like, when it's actually okay, sort of thing, you know. Um, whatever, okay, that's about that, you know. All right for the most part. Let's go to the next one now. I've not done much detail on the other one on the right there, the middle one. Let me just show you something while I'm here. I've actually brought in a load of reference images. Look at these secret images here. I didn't, I didn't draw these, but these are images I found online of various positions. I've got lots of photos, so many as well, online of real people. But what I've got here is I've got loads of images of men and women in various standing positions and sitting positions, if you see so many and I can just move the camera across and just use some for reference have a quick look and think about it and if I want if I want a character stand in a certain way I can trace these two I'm just using them as that reference and there's so many there and it's good now uh, let's try this next one we're gonna do one more give it a try um, and I think this loose kind of methods really working when I said like a stick figure method um, is a stick figure method I'm going to be using anyway, which doesn't even involve always using um, scribbles like these, like the scribble like the scribbles. I'm saying, but um, there's one method I like to do where I'll put like, you know, let's say for example, I see the head here. Ah, please excuse me if I see the head here. You see, and I'll I'll put the body in a certain way, like the body's arcing here, the legs are here, and even as I'm doing this right now, it's just like so much better I feel I can see an arm here and I can see a hand here can you see that guys and I can see uh, this hand seems to be here and it's like almost like it's got a gun or something on a holster <laughs> the head's fairly small I know but I can just change that you see shoulders are here and you say well yeah okay rich but it doesn't really look like um, a woman's body <laughs> the main character is a woman right so let me just uh, readjust a few lines here because they're not looking alright I'll show you in a moment we can just readjust things and it will look properly you get the proportions right um, this is the line I have to keep that line in mind so what I'm doing is I'm just you know rearranging well fuck his face is just kidding no. I'm just rearranging um, you know various uh, points here you know just just doing them now let me see how I would actually because this was partly freehand and partly um, based off of the scribble below it right so you see it doesn't look you know hundred percent right let me look at that foot how that foot's positioned that right foot on the right there um, so what I need to do is I do need to reposition certain things you see so like the, okay that could be here but then the foot has to be a bit bent you see so I have to think about certain things so let's just imagine okay if I turn this off how can I turn this into a proper thing is it is bending down the character is bending down so and again I mean why did I move that character it's like it's kind of confusing me now why I even moved it because th this the hips are right to be lower he should be lower or she so because you know the position of it and that's that's okay now I've got that in a position that at least makes sense it's not a good position but um, let's have a look okay so if we do a basic shape there for a head go follow this that like the line down the, the face is here the shoulders are going to be here we keep that fairly small gun on the holster I'll draw the gun in a moment this is what we're going to do here bend that and then just do these this big waist area 
you know, and go. The back is fairly curved, as I say. I'll I'll give it the curve in and then curve back out. You know, still the same. Mind you, the, due to the actual position of the body, it would be more arced over like that. So that's that. They're not so squared off the shoulders too. They are roundish. It's a woman, as I say. Um, you don't want to give her such broad, strong shoulders like that. The hand is here. We'll emphasise that in a moment more. I'm going to make this the thumb and these the th fingers. You know, so that's about there. Let's make a little simple hand. Hands behind that. The leg, you see, as I come down, just thinking about this three-dimensionally the best I can. This goes to about there. You're going to have these you know, have a look here, just think about the angle okay, yeah, that's right okay, right, so I want to see which overlaps what, hold on that's about like that this leg's about there, the other leg's actually right behind there, so we really can't see it which makes it easier for us that's about there I mean, it, it works, you know what I mean, it, it does work but again, the problem is when you get so specific with certain designs you end up with things that look so stiff sometimes you know we've not even given her a breast yet so let's give her a couple of lows yeah, damn it. <laughs> a couple of lows bit. okay it's all, about, it's all about the low hangers and the uh, low <laughs> it's all about the low hangers and the r high rises now I'm seeing shoulder blades in there uh, when you start fleshing it out fleshing out the arms things start to make more sense so we've got the gun there and the holster <laughs> the arm behind there this goes in oh actually that more in actually like that, just cleaning things up, you see what I mean as we clean things up as we proceed to give you what you need and this back again, you can like slightly fix things up if you need to see and it is, you know, making sense more, you make the legs a little bit more skinnier, you know, certain things like that and you know, it is actually working we've got to fix up this area here meaning like that goes into the middle here you see you have to do that um, that's about there right so the arms behind let's just say right about there somewhere in there the arm and you know that's there the bugs about there you do about like that fix it up you see and you get the shapes going you know um, Maybe even just like, like that, I'm trying to work it out myself. Will it can work it out. Have you ever heard that song? And that's that, and then the hands there, and the... Let's just imagine she's got the gun in the holster for some reason, she's got a sh holster there. <laughs> the knee as I say it's not the best uh, I've not done the best job with that knee but uh, you get the idea though and you just fix things up and does it work I mean yes and no so let's give it that for a moment see it based off of that so I get rid of that just quickly and then just bring this in if I was to put put this down give it a play around just really quickly um, do something to change it a bit like I don't even know, it's not like the best, and again you get these really detailed ones but what happens is is you get problems because you won't be happy with them hold on that should be about there actually, uh, hold on it's the back foot that's the problem, but it's about there, it's about right, it doesn't matter um, so we got we got three three, three women my god, what's going on? <laughs> Where did they go? Okay, there they are. Sometimes they just disappear. It's weird like that. Some women are funny like that. Yeah, so let's go. <laughs> uh, so 
we're going to go on top of this and just see like imagine we were like doing an actual picture I'm not going to go crazy but let's just imagine okay so if I was going to go here I'm not going to do a proper one obviously but I'm just, just imagining see let's imagine because what you do is you use every guide you make becomes like uh, as I say um, just that just a guide and as you know better art on top is always going to be better the actual real art and not only that but it's going to entail fixing up and stuff too so sizes and things that you see are wrong you'll be, fi you'll be fixing it up and just using this thing as a guideline anyway you know so I'm just doing this here just a little bit of a design see and I'm, I'm seeing already that I want to make this shoulder a little bit bigger you see here can you see that so I'm just going here I'm not going to make it too muscly but you see what I mean doing various things and just re fixing it up seeing it, it just looks better overall you know at least looks better this neck's a bit like that that's about there like you see and you can just see how it like just fixes itself up see? somewhat and you can like fix those shapes as well make it like a bit more you know better shape wise you know and you can just work it out uh, and just re rework things as you go like, see how can you see how I'm changing that there I wasn't happy with, with that so I wasn't happy with that this hand I'm just doing a simple one here just to show you just really quickly and I'm just gonna put this here a little bit of a um, uh, um, heel there and this as I say would go back down there we wouldn't really see much of it I'm just fixing a bit of a ah uh, a bit of a foot there that, make, that makes human sense if any and there somehow that is stepping but it's not too over the top there see and that should be a bit down there really see something like that ah. okay but you get the idea you get the idea it's not perfect but you get the idea right and that'll be it and you see how it just fixes itself up right and it's like obviously you can still fix things like that. the leg here I can fix it up a bit better if I want to see and um yeah so we got some sketches there yeah I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these up like full let me just say hold on see, I'm not going to keep that I don't need to keep that one just, just get rid of that one and I'll just save that as an image just as a test like rough image so I know you see I think we'll do some more in another video. We're just going to save this as like a rough um, thing, you know, just as a rough test one. And in the next video, I'll do some a couple more of these type ones. I may, I may even just use the same one. So I'll come here. Uh, I'll make some more based off of these scribbles, these very scribbles we've got here, and I'll either use them again, or or I'll make another one, and I'll just use some stick figures you know um, I think this is a it's a good starting point you know um, the stick figures as I say that I do usually usually I'll do it like this I'll just do like a you know a circle sometimes I'll be so lazy I'll do one circle two two for there and then two like that see but what it is is like literally we're imagining where everything is so the head's about here right the necks here the, the torso's there it goes down to the waist you put the waist bit in and then put the two legs down to these lines here where the feet are on one of those work it out the arms will be there you're imagining that there's a, a, a line for the hips anyway and a line for the shoulders on whatever angle they're going to be imagining the places where those hips are and those shoulders are whether you draw them in or not and the same for elbows and knees and hands and um, feet and then the face you're just doing the cross there and as I say you just work it up and they've got the triangle bit there for the chin you know and just on the side you put the ear like you might do a line like that things like that show the ear that you know um, 
you know things like that um, but what it is like I'll work with like balls and circles and different things I'm imagining that there's spheres as I say so if I've got one here and we can't see the net because it's like that you see and this goes here you see and like things like that you know I'll be having things like you know things like that let's say you know he's got a sword in his hand or something this guy's got a, another sword here see I might have the face here you see and different things going on so I've got different kinds of shapes going on like they're, like they're balls placed on top of each other and like I'll do things like and then what I'll do is I'll have just simple things like the circle here understanding that this is bent now there's a line like that just imagine just I don't always do that but let's say I'm going to do that see I'd imagine so the hips are about here and the shoulders are about here now I'll just make like a shape like a sausage kind of shape see and I'll do like a just wavy legs so I'm um, let's say I don't do that wavy line let's say I just do the, the, you know this and then the shape of what, ang what angle the body is going in one hand here one hand here this guy is talking about something I might decide I want some to make it all work out I'm going to move it into position a bit better uh, go again and then just put the legs in so I might put one leg over there one here you know put one foot here and we can see what's going on so if I put that there and I go on another layer now from this just a simple ball for the head sausage type round this sort of shape for the body bent in whatever way we're imagining this is this is divided where the hips are going to be and then the whole torso be it the the chest the, the six pack the chest whatever the hell of is a man you know the the, the groin will be about there and then the, the feet you see you just you just work it all out you see so I'd do that and I'd, under, I'd, I'd imagine where the groin is or where the neck is and that. See, I'll, I'll do the head within that shape now. Just do a loose one, just really quickly. Neck's about here. I'm doing a, a male character, okay, here. Just It can be any, but I'm just showing you, okay. So I'll do that. Imagine that the, the chest's about here, see. This is down here. And then the hips are about here, see. And I'll just put these like sausage shapes across here. I understand the knees about there you know the other foot's about there this one's about there the other knees behind I can do it if I want to and then erase it later just draw it in that's about there going down to the heel and this foot's about there however the hill is facing us you know like that whatever just work it out as I go you know and then this would be about there imagining it like 3d now like drawing in these like kind of sausage shapes this hands on the hip there so I'll just work out what angle the face is going to be on shoulders I might put in for some muscle there to put this about there they here see this is here this guy is talking to this other motherfucker in my language you know here's the side bit here you see uh, and then I'll get rid of the other um, what we had which is the original one this thing I'll get rid of this and we'll have that okay then I'll go here I'll turn that off and I'll just literally go on top of that and I'll just start drawing you see I'll draw the actual real one but yeah I mean it is fuss and that you know it is fuss but I'll work it out you know what I mean you know and I'd work out some kind of understanding you know so I'm gonna put uh, some hat or something on this guy here uh, okay here goes up there see I'm just doing a really rough one guys I'm not doing a proper thing okay if anyone wonders what the hell I'm doing I put like some baggy top on this guy okay work it out you see and again even this is rough so remember what I've said like every single one I'm doing is a guide so I can use this as a even what I'm drawing now if I'm it's not like great art is it so you know I, I, I could make this as a guide and then draw a better one on top of that you know on top of that see uh, here see and again I might not like the angle of that hand I might want to have the hand a bit more towards us or something like that and just I don't know I'm just doing a rough hand here but you know I'm not good at drawing hands and feet anyway but <laughs> looks like melting fucking piece of clay but still you know you get the idea I'm gonna put these baggy over overly baggy I think um, overly uh, 
increased uh, clones there, but just put some lines, some crisp lines if you can. There, you know, this is the top of that shoe there. This one's about there. And then this shoe's about there, so I'm trying to work that out. Hang on. Uh, more pointed, I think, yeah, you see. And there's your dude. There's your dude, you know. Give him another kind of hat or something there, Murder. Something like that, you see. Um, the hand, as I say, is not too good. But you can work it out as you go and just work things out, you know. And there you go. You know, and there. It's not perfect, but you see how we, we get these. Um, Designs. If, if I get, if I move the other one out again, see, move this across. We it came from that, you see, and um, and that was based off of something we found in there. And what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just quickly um, move this one to about here, and I'll move this one about here, and we'll just save that as a reference one. Save it as an. I'm saving these like as references, you see. Um, oh, we just choose the right thing there. Oh fuck, hold on, excuse my language. Just save it there. And it can be fun, you know. So so the thing I'm trying to say is it can be fun, but it's like work if you're doing anima animation and, and comics, but when you do animation it's a lot of frames and stuff you gotta think about. So like you gotta to learn to imagine positions like almost in three D in three D basically, even though it's two D shapes. And then you've got to use things like this kind of exercise I find here to, to help, you know, to find um, shapes. So, for example, I can see a shape here. I don't know if you can see that. I can see various shapes here I could do like for doing stick figures anyway. Like, um, let's have a look. Like I, can see, I, can, I can see a shape here. Look. And, and you can go to do like these rough scribble sketches as well, don't forget. I can see something here. It might look really funny to some people, but I can see this. Okay, I can see this. <laughs> you see that? So we got, you know, the shape there. You know, you see, I can see these shapes within, within this. Like, like I can just go straight in and do a rough sketch. Oops, excuse me, <laughs> what's going on with these guys? Uh, you know, or I can, um, you know, I just make these um, shapes up basically, you know. So, uh, yeah, you know. Um, here I can see something, as I say, I can see this. Um, you know, um, this is a hand, this is the neck, this is the, the back, okay. Is that I can do this? Some kind of um, pose here. I have some woman and have it like that. Okay, um, you know, like that. Um, that goes in there, and the back's about like that do some hair you know and I can see that and she's like holding it that's at her face there she's looking at us there from that angle see and this goes in this goes about there and then the back of the legs about there you see and I'm just seeing all these uh, shapes and things and I'm just seeing that literally put give her a, you know that see and then sitting on something there maybe you see and I'm seeing that in that that's literally what I'm seeing if I'm looking at that can you see that now can you see that I can see that right there so you know what I'm seeing and other things you could do like I could use this and make that like hair or something I could go use this and make it like hair maybe see again and, and just do different things this could even be an arm here I can see like an arm 
well, it could be here but it's like so wavy but I'm, I'm you know, hanging down but I, it could be like uh, an arm or something you could put a hand in put you know this could be there the other arm could be on the other side there okay that's about there you still got this thing going on here you know and then this could be the this could be the you know as I say the leg I'm not going to make this the foot because it's in the wrong direction <laughs> but you get the idea and you can just like, put your own waves and stuff in and you know do your own um, different kinds of designs and stuff put your other lines in and draw other lines in you see and you can just find these shapes you know but the thing we're talking about is we're talking about using these like sausage shapes as I was saying which is to me the easiest way and you know it, it really is the easiest way I think so um this is the best one as I say so like using that I'm seeing the sausage shape is like there you see and then you got the leg here see literally see and then another one about there see well let's say you can make it slightly bent if you want but I'm trying to avoid that stiffness you see the other arm was about there as I say and the other arm was about there you see that's what I'm seeing and that's there so you might have hair there see so if, if I turn that off now you can you can really see that and you can be that I'm just looking <laughs> just kidding so you give it a head here you know you could do that so you could go there and you could change it, like make it a real um, body, you know. I want to say I may need to stop this video very soon. Okay, sorry guys, but I will make more. Okay, and I'll be, I'll, I'll just have music in the background. Okay, tonight. But this could be down the front of the body there. See, and it goes right down there to the middle. So that's that. This going there. Put, put the, you know, breasts on. It gets a bit messy when you're doing all those different lines I know but you just fix up the fix up the shoulders put a neck in put shoulder blades in things like that you can work your guidelines on different levels if you have to like to do certain things you know you know and then just work it out and then um, work out what kind of style you know clothes and stuff you're going for you know um, I've got the wrong leg in the front here should be this one in the front but it's all right because I can just go over there and just do that. See, and then um, you know, do that, and just work it out gradually. You see, and do different uh, parts until it all all comes together. You know, and um, that could be there. This could could be more in front. It's up to you, and you just work it out. See, and fix things up. I've done a really rough one. That's not a proper thing. I'm just saying, like for an example, you know just saying for an example so you could even go on top of that and then try and rough one out like okay like um just go with different parts first if you wish to or you know you can put the hand there first up to you know and just do it and work it out just, just practice do those shoulder lines and stuff just, i'm just mucking around here i'm just like trying a few things here just bringing that in a bit the back would be about there you might want to change the size of certain things as you go, see. I might want to have this one in front instead. I might want to do that. I might just change it up, see, like just here. Uh, should be meaning that should be in front there, really, then. Because the knee's about there now, so. You know, and then just, just change things up. You might want to just do a different change altogether with the legs, a different kind of position or something. And the hair, so you can just work different things out, you know, and then work it out. It's not a very good arm, I know, but <laughs> shoulders are a bit too big as well. So, then I put a line there, put this there, you know, and you get the idea, right? And you might want to change the whole shape. I mean, I mean that long leg's a little bit too long, really, but you know, you could change things as you go you know really and just change things up I'm gonna stop this one as I say um, it was just a quick uh, practice thing when you practice sketching okay 
but yeah definitely um, using as I say these these shapes I mean really really helps doing these shapes look see I can go there and just imagine so I'm looking for the shapes and stuff I'm trying to imagine where the legs are see that's like off easily that's a leg there and this is um, the knee there so even so that dictates where that line is for the um, hips and then the shoulders I can see about here there's an arm there and another arm is kind of hidden it looks like she's holding a, a book or something there so the other arm will be about there and then up there and the hand holding it and we can just work that out and work out the shape of the hips curve it in a bit more put that, put a neck, put a head you know, put the <laughs> buttocks should be about there but you know you do the legs in there and you, and you know you, you get your shapes and you go there and you get it all in you know <laughs> so to speak you know I'm gonna have to stop this video as I say in a moment okay I'm gonna have to okay guys but you can see how it's uh, working if I do some hair here See, and I'm just I'm seeing all that. Give her a bit of cover up, damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> Someone. Just sitting on a wall. Get rid of that. See, and you got your. You got your hoe. Just kidding. You got your fucking hoe. Um, yeah, and that's like some of the benefits there of, of using these. Um, these stick figure things they're just this is great fun you can do a line first as I say if you want to do that but what I do is I imagine the whole line is an invisible line of action so it's like the lines there <laughs> or less I've got to imagine where the arm the body is right so the, the legs and stuff I mean so I want to imagine that the lines about there okay, the waist is there that means the legs are bent about here because we have to remember where that waistline is really so if we stand in straight see and the waist's about here right hang on so let's work that out again the head's about here the torso's there and the legs are there that's what we're trying to work out and the hands are about where the groin is as I say that level uh, but the thing is we're using this shape this scribble behind so we're trying to imagine that the scribble is dictating where everything is so if I imagine now where the waist is, let's imagine this is a real random thing. Let's imagine that the waist's up here and the shoulders are up here. That means the body must be scrunched up in some weird angle here. Put the head in front maybe as well. Like the head's looking forward. The arms might be here, you see. And um, one foot's here, close, let's say. Boom, boom, foot there. And then the other leg's like dangling behind maybe from far away. So this one's closer to us, you see, and that's the shoe. You can't even see the rest. Like the, the hips are about there, see, and then that's about there, and then the foot's behind, and it's all in 3D, see, and then the body's about there, and this guy's arms are about there, you see, and this guy's the top of this guy's hat is about there, you know, and it's all coming together, you see, got a belt on him as well. If I was to raise certain things here, you'll see what I mean. Let's change up a bit, see there. And you can see how we're seeing all these shapes. You've got black shoes on, obviously, there. Uh, you know, and it's just telling the story about this, this dude who's just flying through the air. I don't know. Um, you know. So, how many different shapes can you see? within one of these is, is, the, is the question so I might see a small one there a small one so I might change different to do different shapes I might just do a crazy move see I can see one there maybe just make this one here he's like kicking see you see I might do another one just put anything you want basically a head here um, the body might be really you know scrunched up see so like he's chucking a, a, a rock or something see in that direction 
you see just doing some crazy stuff and you just basically you can just work with these shapes and then draw on top of them and just use the basic idea so I could do another one here see I could do some other one I could just imagine to have the hands about here this is there the body's in some crazy position there this uh, this foot is like maybe there okay in front of the other one hang on uh, should be facing this way I mean, this is about there like about there let's say I know uh, this guy's like um, I don't know he's he's just chucking some stuff either side of him and the shoulders are about there you know and I, it's not even a proper shape so it's not even a perfect shape so what I would do is I'll just literally go on top of that whatever the shape is I'll put it whatever the shape is I'll, I'll do that do with that from I'll go on top see and start doing the real deal so I'll put the head I'll give him a neck I'll give him shoulders see I'll give the torso and all the rest of it see down to the groin area I'll just put a pair of trousers on this guy this legs in front of the other one this leg straight there the foot's there this leg like that he's got no sleeves on his top this guy just you know there and his his hands are like just waving either side let's just imagine or well, in front so he's got a baseball cap and whatever and he's chucking fireballs each side I don't know raise that a bit there you know we're getting all these moves kind of see you know and you could be doing absolutely any movements you want to do basically so I could have a character here who's like let's say in this position let's imagine that this is a hand you know and I can put the body then I can work the body out if I wish to and the body could be here the head's looking forward the eyes you see give him some spiky hair whatever you know um, this one's on the line there he's maybe walking there see and the other hand might be here, I'm just going to add a hand in, why not? because this guy looks like he's holding a gun, right? so it looks like that point it here and he's shooting this guy, so something's happening with this guy over here, maybe just, see I just put a head there randomly, see, and now I'm just moving the body let's imagine that the waist is, is there, see right, he's, you know, and he's like oh, this leg's there, see, he's like this, like, might be in front this will be here, and I'll see. You know, I'll do that, and I'll just imagine where the shoulders are. You know, when I do the real one, and he's getting shot. So he's just bring that down there, turn it off, go on top of that, and then just do another. See, so do a imagine where the this front of the face is. I'll do a cross there just to show you. See, and I'll imagine whatever's closer to us should be bigger. Don't forget, what's further away is going to be smaller slightly. Put a neck and that, you know see and then that's the top there and then whatever I know it's not perfect but you know I'll give him a pair of these I don't know man boots or something there <laughs> I don't know what that's about I'm just doing a rough thing anyway as I say you know and this guy's just getting blown across the shop you know boom his, his hair whatever you know. boom 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 getting shot boom and this guy's firing the gun and I could do the same thing for this guy to draw him in and then when you get like better at freehand you can just draw freehand you know clothes and stuff just, just draw it in much better I'm saying not like this I'm saying you can do much better stuff you know put him in some weird gas mask thing I don't know <laughs> and he's just shooting the hell out of this guy boom 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 it's not great, I know, but I'm just giving you, you know, at least you're looking at the positions and stuff, you know. That's what I'm trying to say. So, you can go right in and do some real detail stuff. You know, if you really wanted to, you can go in and really, like, try and make a nice, detailed piece of art, you know, if you really wanted to. You know. You know. And do a nice uh, character, if you really wanted to. I'm, so I'm not... I'm not doing that here now, I'm just showing you something 
<laughs> very ugly actually <laughs> but you see and um work it all out you can look at the shape of the body see and just look at it up see like I can you know I can imagine so so I could do that you see it's about there okay so I imagine right just working it out that yeah that's about there and then just work it out you know this one might be about here this one's about there I meaning the character's about like that in some strange way the way the character's standing the legs are really bent behind her but you know get the idea though right hands again like various basic shapes to make hands and stuff see going over a few lines here just to show what I'm seeing um, again those boobs are way too low so you may want to fix things up and give her a nice wowzer and I give her a nice shape you know there you go things like that you know just work it out you know we can work it out as I say we can work it out so it's just carrying I don't know what carrying something there some bags or something you see and I know I've not done that really well the front of that leg there where it's covering you know the knees actually covering that area so I've got to like imagine it and work it out you see you've got to do the back of that and then maybe yeah, a shoe about like that something like that on the back of the hip it's actually okay actually that's you can't be you guys try a few things you know try things out basically you know about there you might want to stretch certain things and change them a little bit or whatever when you when you're doing your art doing certain things and you just work it all out I might see something totally different at some stage I might see something like here I might see something like here see look I'm seeing this now <laughs> look at this see so I'm, I'm literally seeing this here so let's say boots there so I might do that I might do nice bits and pieces you know and there you go bit of a shine on it as well you know don't mind if I do you know <laughs> just do it like that though see and there you go, you might want to like erase certain things to show the other leg on the other side. I'm seeing that there. Fine air stuff, as <laughs> I've got to say. Yeah. Um, seeing all kind of things though. What else other positions can you see? Um, maybe like the head might be there. Body might be there. You might have that like, further away type of things you might see the head any strain position you might see the head around in another place I'm seeing something else now check this out look just really 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 quickly because I've got to stop this video now that's about there see and this is a uh, working with these like sausage shapes again see and then like, that's the squid for the you know the hand and there's a guy here doing some kind of move you know the other hand's about there, I'm going to have the hand about there you know I can put the head on a bit better if I want to change it a bit, let's see here and that could be the chin, he's looking up there see and there's the neck, the chin could be a bit lower even still about there and then that goes into there and there's, and there's the head there and you see that, see what we've got there, some other situation going on I'm not going to do the whole body, I'm just going to do that to about there I'm about there and um, 
I'll turn it off so you got some guy there doing whatever the hell he's doing. You know, if I just do that quickly, see? Get the idea. And you see all these different shapes in different parts of these scribbles. It's great fun to practice like this as a visualization thing. And remember, you can just do different scribbles each time, like do different ones, like, you know, get rid of that. Go over what one of these, like, brushes are, I would say. Use one of these, like, texture type brushes, you know. As I say, low opacity um, layer. I don't mean keep full opacity brush if I was you, but you can do different ones. Just do different kinds of marks and things like that, you know. Do a few of them, as much as, you, as crazy as you want. Thin strokes, thick strokes, whatever. Leave some var variation if I was you, like some gaps. Don't leave it all solid, the whole thing. You see how the one on the, on the left is more spaced out different kinds of things whereas the other ones it needs some like spaces and so you can erase areas obviously but you know what I mean but you just look what you've got you know just look at what you've got basically and just try and make some shapes out of it uh, try and see and then turn the opacity of the layer down further and then go on another layer let's say and then you don't have to have these guidelines I say I've just made them for myself but you can go on another layer and practice with a normal pen, a normal thin pen and just draw on top of that and work it out and work on different layers uh, to get different parts of the images or the whole image or whatever whole image or parts of the image, you know, just work it out and it can be a lot of fun but the most important thing is you've got to understand the basics of the body you know, you need to understand those things so like, you understand the waists here, the feet are here, this is the body the arms are there, this is the neck, the head's hanging down. You can imagine where every, everything is, you know. You know, so the head might be here, this might be the body in a sausage kind of shape. This is a leg, that's another one. And the hand there, see. So I get the idea, right? And you can see these shapes naturally. So I'm going to stop this one here and say thank you for watching and see you in the next video.